Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Ancient Empires Total War for Total War Attila. Here today we're going to be continuing with episode 6 of my Roman Republic series. If you guys are still enjoying the series and would like to see more, the best way to ensure more content is to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback and suggestions for the series thus far. Feel free to leave a dislike if you're not enjoying it. Of course, I'll put in the description below the mod if you'd like to download it and play along with me. In today's episode, we're going to be declaring war upon the Greeks. We're going to be invading the, uh, the Greeks here today, and we're going to hopefully take Pella. So guys, as well, we're also going to be going to war with another Celtiberian tribe. We're going to be expanding over the border into um, the Iberian Peninsula, and we're also going to expand our territories over from Dyrrachium. So welcome back to the series, guys. Now, there has been a huge update. As you can see here, the graphics and UI have been upgraded. It's a lot more colorful, as you can see. The sort of color correction saturation, saturation has sort of been popped up. We, we started the series on beta version 1.02, and I believe it's been updated now to 1.6. So there will be some graphical changes here and there, and I've also added a new animation pack, so we'll be able to see how well that goes. But welcome back to the series, guys. Let's sort of recap where we stand, and uh, let's continue on. So, the Roman Empire now, we're currently under our second dictatorship of Lucius Julius Caesar, who is the son of Sextus Caesar. We currently occupy the Italian peninsula, Sardinia and Corsica, and most of what is sort of northwest Africa here, and the bottom of Iberia, and we only have uh, Dyrrachium over in Greece. Here today, we're going to be pushing south against Gort Inner. I think that's how you say it. The Greeks have been now knocked out. The Archaean League and the Macedonians have been knocked out by <clears throat> the Cretans down here. Thunkai, an Illyrian tribe, seems to want to take the rest of the peninsula here. So that's basically what's been going on here at the moment. Thracian kingdoms seem to be quite strong along with Illyrians compared to the Hellenistic Greeks. We currently have on the border here Scipio Africanus, who has, well, throughout this series so far, he carved up Africa getting the name. He pushed north to revenge one of his family members in uh, Menelodunum. And now he's in Greece to bring further Roman rule to these Hellenistic savages. We have Tiberius Gracchus here as well, along with Gaius Caesar, Julius Caesar, who is the third brother of Lucius. Moving over to the west here, these are all my armies. I'm going to go through them. We have Lucius Julius Caesar here. We're going to be pushing up north and attacking one of the Celtiberian tribes here, further solidifying our grip north of Taraco. We have Sextus Julius Caesar, my third brother. I think um, Gaius was my second brother. We have Lucius Sora here, who is Lucius Scipio. Scipio Africanus's firstborn son. We also have Antonius here, who is Antonius Julius Caesar. He is the third in line for the throne and the son of Lucius. His grandfather was Sextus. Moving here to Strabo, just a randomly generated general. We have Marcus Cato pushing north as well. We have the fleet with Titus Flaminus in uh, Lepidus down here, or Lepidus. So that's basically how things sort of stand. At the moment, we're not at war with anyone. Massalii are currently my vassals. Same with uh, one of these Iberian tribes, the uh, Turdani. There's no point of declaring war upon Massalii. It would cost way too many Roman lives. I would love to annex the entirety of Northern Africa. But as what they've done here, in a quite strategical play, they have three full stacks, um, and including the garrison. So it's going to take maybe five, six year legions to take out Massalii. They're not my... They're not sort of my enemy. They're my vassals. So it kind of sucks. But... We might have to take them out later. Um, essentially, the Spanish here are doing quite all right as well. Tech-wise, we're seven turns away from getting Marian reforms, which is awesome. Objectives-wise as well, we're still making a nice progression. 
Let me know in the comments when you would like me to sort of end this series. Uh, if you want to see more, the best way to support it is just by leaving a like and some feedback. We can really sort of go anywhere with this campaign. This is how sort of the world is shaping up. Going to push into Greece in today's episode into Iberia as well. The Carnotes seem to be the, pri the prominent force in Gaul. Doesn't look like any of the Viking tribes are solidifying in the north in Germania. They seem to be squabbling. Britain seems to have some sort of union, especially down in the south. So that's something to be worried, the Demani and the Iceni. Uh, Ptolemy and the Ptolemaic Kingdom has pretty much been destroyed. Ptolemy V is now dead. Nabatia, an Arabian Kingdom, has usurped the Egyptian lands here. Instead of, obviously, the um, Macedonian. Okay, right, so it's Alexander's legacy, right. Um, the Seleucids are seven regions strong as well. So, yeah, Nabatia here, eight regions. I'm going to sort by strength. Adrissia Kingdom is fourth, for some reason, with two regions. The Carnotes are currently fifth, and I'm currently ranking first, of course. There's still three more rankings that I can't see. Maybe Bactria, Parthia are quite strong. We're still making a significant amount of money from trade. We're currently in winter now at the moment, so we are losing a little money here and there. Here's the family tree. This is how things are shaping up. We have Julius, sorry, we have Lucius Julius Caesar here with his son Antonius, who will inherit the throne. His daughter Attila here. Uh, we'll try and marry her to a high-ranking Roman. Scipio Africanus is currently my adopted son. I wanted to keep his line in the family tree. But we're still going to go down the matrilineal sort of more so akin to medieval kingdoms and blood that's how we're going to go through this so Publius Scipio Africanus has a son Lucius Gaius Julius Caesar has a son Appius Caesar Sextus Julius Caesar has a, has a daughter Chaldea Tiberius Gracchus and Marcus Cato are yet to have children so we've got a lot of Romans to take up the throne if we have a succession crisis Okay, so let's now declare war upon Gortina. I think that's how you say it, or I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we're going to be declaring war upon the Hellenistic Greeks. Okay, so what we're going to do now here is get Scipio Africanus to attack. It's already under siege here in Pella, so I don't particularly want to siege it straight up. So this is how I'm going to play it. I'm going to move Tiberius Gracchus up here. I'm also going to move up Gaius Julius Caesar. My army has been suffering with a disease, so that's something to worry about. So what we're going to do now is we're going to swing around with Scipio Africanus, and we're going to go with an amphibian attack. We're going to declare war now upon uh, Gortina. Okay, so they're... Oh, okay. So they're currently military allies with... The Byzantines. I didn't see that before. Is that much to take note of? Okay, they only have Byzantium and it's currently a tributary state regardless. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So, Byzantium have a military alliance with them and they're a puppet state of the Idrisian Kingdom which are currently second but they've only got two regions so they seem to be quite strong who in turn have another one up here as well. A tribute state. They've got a fair few tributes, that's interesting. The Idrissian Kingdom, the Thracians. Um, what I could do to bypass most of this is I can negotiate with Ptolemy. Um, he's going to be out anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask to join this war against them. That accepted. So now that is completely bypassed the war with the Byzantines, the Idrisian Kingdom, and the northern sort of Lyrian tribes. It's worth doing that in total war, if you can. So basically, we have joined on side of their war. In Hearts of Iron, you would probably come up with. Yeah, we still can't hit it. So we want to go through like this. Yeah. It would probably. Yeah, you, you'd think, like, war deck wise. I'm not going to be able to get in here. That. The um, the Egyptians would get the majority of this territory. So what can we actually see here? This is a general. We have my navy nearby, but we're out of range. I don't think I'm going to move it up just yet. We're hemorrhaging money, which is crazy. Regardless, let's push here against the Iberians as well. Let's push with Lucius Julius Caesar. Is it going to be in the same boat? Are we going to be dragging anyone here in with the uh, Akani or whatever? Avachi or whatever? 
Um, right, they're at war with Astorius. These are Celtiberians. Um, look, it's not really going to change. Okay, let's declare war now. Oh, it was my trade. That's what was going on. That's fine. I lost my trade with them. Oh, it's probably going to rocket there as well. Crikey. It's okay. I did put a lot of my money into buildings, which should be fine. Let's build up some siege equipment here now. Let's get a ram. Oh, what is that? Medium siege tower, light siege tower. It's still going to take a hell of a lot of turns to get a lot of this. By the look of it. So let's go one, two, two. Okay. Let's continue the siege. Let's move up Sextus, my brother. How far away is Scipio Africanus' son? Two turns or so. Okay, I was putting money into a couple of things here. I think it was into Ludo, actually. Yeah, it was here. So we should be able to get our balance in the check now. Yep. In um, ancient empires, winter is one of the harshest months. You build in the summer and the spring, and you obviously uh, save your money in the winter because it's short. Julius Caesar has gone up in stats there. Gaius, we're still on the verge of bankruptcy. Are you kidding me? Provincial governor can still be assigned. We're not going to do that. Hang on, I'll fix this up a bit. This has been a pain in the ass. Okay, excellent stuff. We now got the ball rolling. <laughs> just had to dive into me, my economy and, and fix some things. So let's just cross our fingers and hope that Pella is not taken from some of the Illyrian tribes as they are sieging it. I'm going to decline this attack. So what's happened here? Yeah. So it's only two and then that. Yeah, I'm going to decline the attack. Ah, oh, they've taken it, those motherfuckers. Well, that's a shame, as I wanted to take Pella for myself. I wanted to sneak in there. Maybe I shouldn't have declared war. Maybe I should have sat back. Oh, no, natural causes. And we're still suffering attrition. Tiberius Gracchus. Ah, let's pay him off. That's fine. Now, we're back in summer now. Oh, excellent stuff. Patrona. Patrona. Oh, cool. A daughter. So, Macedon, man, has fallen. That's um, not good for me. Regardless, we're going to be able to still push down here and uh, take Corinth. Greece has marble and, and iron by the look of it, so it's quite a useful hub. Okay, let's besiege Corinth now. And it looks like we're going to be able to take it quite competently. Okay, let's swing Scipio back to the mainland. But it looks like we're going to have to wait before pushing into Macedon. We're going to only be able to take southern Greece. Okay, so how far away is my ship from striking distance? Um... It's prob oh, it's still quite hazardous in the sea here. We'd be trespassing here. It's yeah, it is quite tumultuous here. Look, if we can push up to the border, that's okay. And then, how far would it be to strike? Mm. We might be able to do it, but we'll just sit tight here. We can't move Africanus up anymore. It might be alright just to sort of sit guys down because we've got some crazy disease penalties. Right, Strabo is now here as well. You were going to go somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where exactly. So everyone's got a... Ge every one of my family members is a, a general currently, which is fantastic. Look, I can just push you to the north. I think that's probably our best bet. Strabo, not a prominent commander, just a senator. He's got a decent army. There's no harm that we can't sort of protect... Our northern border here. Okay. Let's get Cato to uh, to go to Greece. I think that's probably our best bet. To go and help out. Meanwhile, more reinforcements are coming here. Uh, to be fair, I probably could get... Oh, I've got another army here, don't I? Antonius. Why was I heading those guys north? Was I planning on attacking somewhere in Gaul? 
Yeah, I was. Maybe I'm better off to do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Because I was like, uh, we might not have enough legions, but we've got three. So we're actually quite comfortable. Yeah, so Cathos had a quick detour just south of Tarentum. That's fine. Yeah, we might actually have a look at trying to pick one of these tribes off. The Allobroges, a Gaulic tribe. We could have a crack at them. There's no reason why not. These guys are competent lads. We've got Antonius, my son. Antonius Gaulicus. <laughs> that could be his name. Maybe if they move out of some Massalia. Okay, so we have Lucius attacking here now. Will this be the battle of today's episode? One against the Celtiberians. Um, have I really fought against the Celtiberians? We've taken Tolunium. Probably not. We'll probably fight this one. And then we'll... Looks like we're going to have to order resolve in Greece. We're not going to have a fight here for quite some time. Maybe here in Crete. Okay, let's fight this one on the field of battle then. Let's have a fight against the Celtiberians. And this will be the Celtiberian sort of war. It is going to be a siege by the look of it. So we will lose casualties. But that's alright. Let's fight this one on the field of battle then now, shall we? Let's have a siege. Okay, guys, welcome to the battlefield. Let's start the deployment now, shall we, once we've loaded in. So this is going to be one of the unique Attila sieges, which looks awesome here. We can approach from this narrow corridor side, which I don't think I'm, I'm going to. My reinforcements are pushing over on the far side here. That's going to be incredibly tough. So I'm just sort of seeing the best way to approach this. Oh, that sucks. Why would you attack from that side? Can we work our way slowly around the back? Maybe, but this looks like it's nearly impassable. I'm just sort of scoping out the train because we can get up on top of the town square. Maybe even like rain, fire and death upon the enemy here. But this narrow corridor here is going to be incredibly iffy. And especially seeing as I can't break it down. Looks like the majority of the fighting is going to be coming from this side. It looks like there's been a huge graphical update by the look of it. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's get ready to rumble now then. Now, the thing to note about Iberians is the fact that they have some of the best swordsmen of the time. So, in theory, I don't know, that they would be quite, they're probably quite decent. Um, in this mod. I do myself have some Iberian mercenaries who were the first ones going to breach. We've only got battering rams, but that should be um, quite enough. We'll move up our skirmisher forces as well. So I think just basically try and go for it. Hit this and then just try and go straight into the town square as, as best we can. So where is the path there then? Looks like there's only one gateway. That's going to make things a little bit difficult. Hmm. That's alright. We'll make things worth. We will manage. Like Mama Weasley. Okay. We have a lot of Prinkapays as well, so we should be quite fine. Rightio then. Let's have a quick look at some of our units as a bit of a spotlight. So here are our Prinkapays before Marion reforms. They look absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I think there's been like a UI update because these look really red. Everything seems to pop. Here we have some of our um, archers. They're a little bit nudy, so I had to kind of turn a bit. Okay, right. So let's have a look at some of the mercenary Scarari and the Iberian warriors who are going to be charging up for us. So they're going to be fighting against their kin here today. For the glory of Rome, they will all win citizenships after they served in the military for 10 years, is it? I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm not a very good Roman. <laughs> Alright, let's push up here now then. Let's assist and try and move up my skirmishes as well. Is there some sort of loose formation? No. I want to move my skirmishes up to try and distract some of the fire away. Okay, so my units are coming now in. Auga! Auga! Yeah, so these are just the cohorts. Here are some of my new Triarii as well. They look bloody fantastic. Look at this. Superb scenes. Right, okay. So, if I was to drag all you and say, K 
Can you rejoin Lucius on the other side of the battlefield? Where is the pathfinding saying? So they would come... They'd, they'd suicide off the cliffs by the look of it. Okay, it's redirecting, redirecting, redirecting. They'd swing a left. Okay. But some would risk it going through there. Oh, okay. Well, what I want to do then is so you can actually go through this way. So swing around this way. Take your time, men. We're not in overly too much of a rush. Okay, so let's have a look at the Iberians. Here they are. Holding up quite well. Throwing a lot there. It's going to be... Um, difficult with just a couple of battering rams. But we should be able to... Bring on some sort of pressure. Okay. Let's try and skirmish them. Hit their spearmen. Where we can... Yeah, so I definitely can't just try and go for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, hit, like, hit targets like that on the side. That's probably not too much of a bad idea. Let's move up my ram in reserve. Uh, those villates can't do overly too much. And we're waiting for our reinforcements to come in. We've got 58 minutes, so we, we should be all right. My ram isn't taking too much damage. But we need one just up here, just in case. I don't particularly want my reinforcements to run if they if they can, but I want these guys to move up. Right, my archers are getting way too close here. Just skirmish. I'm gonna lose a couple here now because I've had to turn my back, which is some fresh bullshit. Okay, one percent there. That's fine. Let's speed things up a wee bit. Let's halt. Let's actually swing further this way, because we're actually copping some fire. Look, my ram is going to come through quite easily. So that's alright. Uh, aim for skirmishers, because they're just going to sit with their shields up there. Horsemen are going to be a little bit more easier to hit. And we'll do... Some sort of splash damage. Just try and put some pressure on them. Okay, this gateway... Wow, have they not got much range, these archers? Like, really? You're on fire at will. Okay, we've only lost like 80 men anyway. We'll send in the Iberians first. And we'll see how long that sort of takes to get ground in a position. Hopefully it all doesn't swarm down. So it looks like it's going to be sort of a grindy sort of affair. So the gateway is now broken. So charge against spearmen. Drop this. We're not going to be needing it. There was definitely no other rams in. Yeah, this is just a wall. Regardless, my reinforcements uh, are making their way as quick as they can. Let's send some swordsmen up there to try and wreak some sort of havoc yeah so they're still not firing all right well do your best and try and hit there then get my skirmishes to hit them skirmishes aren't amazing in this game as they are in the vanilla base game for total war attila they have been significantly nerfed along with cavalry swordsmen are still your best bet so we're sending in our Iberian mercenaries first. They're going to earn their worth and their denarii. So sitting here is going to—we're going to lose a lot of casualties as they have the high ground. It's not going to look good until our reinforcements come. Do we have many more mercenaries? No, we don't. Wow, my archers don't have hardly any range. Form up there. Yeah, they don't. They, I don't know. Like, just try and hit. Are they, are they, do they keep on moving or something? I don't know. No, that seems to be working. Struggling a bit. Okay. The time is nigh. Let's move up four units of Prinker Pays. So, yeah, try and form up where you can and hit them. Okay, so four units of Prinker Pays are now coming up. 
Let's move my next loss to an Alex. Uh, my next lot to an advanced position. Let's move my Vilates up now as well. And my 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 jab cabs are all right, just to chill, I think. All right, come on. Let's put some pressure on them with my skirmishes. Swordsman, try and make much as much of a progression as you can. Look, we probably were way better off to order resolve this one, but I want to have a battle against the Iberians. I want this to be the Iberian episode if people are sorting for it. You know what I mean? We can order resolve the rest. But if people want to see Romans take out Iberians, this is what they're going to get. Because look at this, right? We've lost 180 men. That order resolve would have helped us out massively because arrow towers are basically machine guns, especially in these sort of later total wars. So they seem to be somewhat tired, these guys, but we're, we're walking our army where we can. I'm just trying to think if we're better off to sort of get them to come a bit quicker. Okay, so it has been the right sort of time to try and push for this. Man, it's going to be tough. We're going to lose a lot of units just here. Let's try and speed some things up. Okay. Let's continue to skirmish where we can. We might even try and get some guys in. So here come some Prinkapes. Through the breach, lads. Shields up nice and high. Let's try and take out as many of these Barbadigans as best we can. Okay. The tired Iberian mercenaries on our side are, are moving back a bit. They do seem to have some sort of crude Spanish or Celt Iberian pillar. Okay. So we're not getting overly smashed by like hot boiling oil, but arrow fire is going to massively hinder us. Let's continue to skirmish. They're nearly out, those slingers. Those slingers seem to be doing really well. But try and skirmish into there where we can. How are we going? Like casualties wise and casualties sustained. That's what I want to know. Okay. So, come on, load. We've we deployed 9,180, and we lost about 300, comparing to their only 300. So, it's actually not too bad. To be fair, we are fighting spearmen here now. Okay. But, in saying that, yeah, my, I'm just going to let my skirmishers skirmish. Put pressure on them. Okay, my slingers, unfortunately, are out of ammunition, so... There's nothing over there. We can do too much with that, but... Yeah, let's try and... Do something. Okay, let's continue to speed things up. Well, I don't want to go to that tactical overview. Look, we haven't even committed... More units up just yet. So there's no point in, in getting my reinforcements to run. Ten minutes have now been played to kill 300 men. So I have a feeling that... Oh, it's going to draw. You will draw if the timer runs out. Um, time could very well be against us. We're getting some elevation here with these light villates. They're now routing. I can't move up my general staff to enable morale bonuses. So here is Lucius Julius Caesar. Currently, the dictator of the Roman Republic. Here he is, leading the assault. The man, the myth, the legend. Okay, so one of my Iberians is completely broke. They broke quite some time ago, but they've officially left now. Looks like this is going to be a pretty grindy affair. My skirmishes are going to keep on skirmishing. Villates are now out of ammunition. So let's fall them back. My reinforcements are coming around. Okay, so who's actually actively fighting within this mess? Still Iberians. 
but we still we got some Romans making their way towards the front. So it's basically going to be a meat grinder of an assault. Oh wow, they've actually been really pushed far down here, the Romans. Wow, crap. It's probably not too bad, but you can sort of vaguely see the front line. See this? Hang on, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. It's a friendly fire. Yeah, it's basically here. Sort of this line here is the new one. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So they've pushed us down quite a bit. We have to hoard through a lot of men. And they're just trying to play for time. So we lost 400 now, so they're 400. So it's actually not too bad. It's, it's not it's what I sort of thought. Well, what I'm going to do is basically just sit here on fast forward speed and, and, and try and... Uh, Whittle them down once we sort of have a breach and a breakthrough, but nothing really over this happening. A little bit boring to be honest, but that's what you get when you attack with one piece of siege equipment. You're not sort of stretching things out, allowing more men to come in. So I kind of, I kind of get it. Maybe I should have waited another more turn, but we'll be right. We'll manage. Okay, guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Some time is now. Elapsed, so I think the time is going to be our enemy in this one. I don't think we're going to win it straight out. We'll probably go to a draw. So, as you can see, a little bit of time has passed. So, it's basically on par. We've lost about 600, they've lost about 700, um, roughly. So, it's pretty much about even six and six. The general staff has now made it and are now sort of towards the front of the blockade. We have currently Lucius Julius Caesar, Sextus Julius Caesar, my brother, and then uh, Lucius Scipio, Africanus' son. Units are making their way now. I wanted to sort of speed things up, so they're going to come in rapid and quick fast now. Okay, so I've divided into my sort of fresh front line here and there's. Okay, combat ability Y. Oh, God, they need to be out of there. Okay, combat ability right wise it seems to be relatively okay. Look at this. Melee infantry Skitari. Eager, but very tired, very tired. In melee balance the balance of forces have evenly matched. And it's the same with these guys as well. Um, the Iberians morale broke. Which is quite understandable. I do have some rally points here with Sextus and Lucius. I might fall up here and give a morale buff with Sextus. I'd be interested to see how many casualties are taken. Because I don't want to move my generals too far up because they're going to be in range. Oh, they might not be in range there. But that's if none of their skirmishes move. Huh. Wouldn't be in the radius still, though. But regardless, let's go and drop a morale boost on the Iberian warriors, I imagine. Okay. My reinforcements have nearly arrived. There's probably not a point of moving up more than four guys apiece because they're just going to get shredded by arrow fire. But looking at this, these guys have probably only lost like 40 men a pop, which isn't actually too bad. So that morale boost has now come in. That's for you back, and we've lost one allied rider. As we turn, it could increase. So one general staff, one, un one unfortunate bastard lost his life. The more Romans we can save, the better. I should have just order resolved in hindsight, because this is... <laughs> We're going to win, but it's nothing... Overly spectacular. That's what sometimes sieges are. They're a bit of a grind. But the thing is, well, if I waited just one more turn, we would have been able to swing up and, and take this in about four times as quicker. But we're going sort of for the hard-fought slog. Um, that's about 700 now. But it's just sort of waiting. I don't. I think the time is going to... Seenings, it's taken us... We started at 55. We want to fluffed around for a little bit. 23 mil minutes to kill... Not even a thousand. I reckon time is not on our side. Okay, some of our Prinkapes at the front are starting to waver a little. Well, not really waver, but they're 
they're starting to get a little bit shaken. So I'm gonna I've sent up two more units here now to come and deal with these Guitari. And that's gonna help us somewhat. Let's bring up Sextus again and try and give us that needed morale boost. Because they are shaken. Especially these guys. Well look, it's gonna be a miracle if one of those arrows somehow finds a general, but I guess we're going to have to risk it. We want to throw up some morale boosts where we can. At the moment, still too many remain. Really. Halt, out of curiosity for a second. If I say to you fire at will, are you going to try and throw peeler over the top there? You are. Now that's fascinating. Um, huh. Sometimes that's bugged, and especially in Divide at Impera, that is bugged often. Um, what I'm going to do is move up some of these Hastati. Now these guys are young boys. They're going to have big, strong, peeler throwing arms on them. Skirmishes are out. Pull them back. Seeing these ones are going to be quite exhaustive for, for some time. It's probably not a bad idea falling four up here with their sole duty to throw Peeler. I think that's what we're best to do. It's time to set up another two more units into the fray. Yeah, so it's basically on par. Hasn't really overly changed too much. Let's continue, lads. Okay, we need my generals need to be quicker. And this morale boost still hasn't come in yet. Has now. General staff reform. Hastati are now going to push up with their sole purpose of throwing Peela. Four should be quite enough. Um, we're still doing our best. We're we're grinding through it. I might sort of zoom in a moment just to show you guys the scope, the carnage of this. So this is sort of a topographical view, very bloody, a lot of cavalry down here. I might try and target that then. Why is there sending so much cav noble cavalry there? Because it's a bit deceiving. If there's so much noble cavalry down there, fight that. Looks like that's it. it. Looks it looks like a cavalry charge might have come in a bit. Okay. Which would be a little bit unorthodox to fight, I think. Would be more than anything. But you gotta give it to the Celt Iberians. They are ruthless bastards. Just need to get a quick sip of water. They're gonna be fighting to the bitter end. The larger end. Okay, so these guys, um, they used to be like a skirmish ability though. But anyway, um, my units are going to form up here now. So your guys, except for you, your, hang on, where are the, where are you then? Okay, right, so yeah, it's these. So their duty is to hold and enable fire at will and try and get the, those peeler over the top. Are you kidding me? Do I have to turn it and click it on? Is that going to trigger it? Why were the Prinker Pays so keen? Do they have like good range, do they? Do Prinker Pays have better range? Uh, standard shot. Nothing that, could, nothing that I can see. Yeah, they seem to be bugging. Are they or are they not? Maybe they're not close enough. Okay, looks like those Hastati were bloody useless. <laughs> and wouldn't want to throw their peeler for some reason. So, I thought, why not let's throw them up. Let's dish out the casualties between the two armies of Sexus and um, Lucius. 
So now we've got some Prinkapes here. Now, theoretically, once they get in position, they should be wanting to fire and reel over this. It must be something to do with the range of the Prinkapes. Um, I'm not entirely sure. We are making some nice progression, but not quick enough. A thousand for half an hour, roughly. It's not quick enough. Okay, so now this Prinkapes disable. Now fire at will. I want you to start loosing your peel up right and over the top. Are they bugged out as well now? I'm fine to leave them there for a bit. Nope, they seem to be doing it. Yep, they seem to be doing it. So Prinkapes seem to be doing it. Right, okay. So the Hastati don't seem to be. Right, okay. My general's now copping casualties. Well, look, how many... How many... Prinkapes do I have left in reserve? Not as much as you'd think. A couple from the second army and a couple from the main. But they are ripping through these though. Alright. Yeah, look at that. They're, they're nearly gone. Oh, okay, maybe I should have sat them back and then full and then go. Um, let's form Testudo when they're out because I think if I turn and, and run it's gonna be worse for me but how, how am I am I gonna get picked off from the side here that's what I'm worried about so there's 28 in this and I'll give it a moment does it overly decrease uh, 27 was 28 right we are started. It does look we're starting to sort of splurge on the side there somewhat. It's a little bit hard to see, but yeah, it looks like we're actually trying to swing around on that right hand side. Man, it's an absolute bloodbath, this. Reinforcements are now coming up, which is great to see. Form them up in a essentially the same position. Alright, let's try to continue forward where we can. Okay guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Well, uh, the time is the enemy, by the look of it. Not too much has changed, still trying to progress through this. Uh, just meat grinder, essentially. One of my units from earlier is exhausted here, and we've still got some Illyrian warband still, which is good to see. So Prinkapes are now still pushing up. We've got four units of Astarte actively fighting, and we moved up our two units of Triario. Triario focusing upon the cavalry as they have excellent spears. The Hastati, the younger, sort of quicker, lighter armored men are trying to gain ground, while the Prinkapes are trying to wreak havoc and try and slash as many as we can down. Um, right, so my Triario are now pushing up. For some reason, we got like eight or so volleys off with spearmen with those uh sorry um peeler but for some reason these ones wouldn't go we've still got a fair amount of forces that haven't even touched combat it's mostly hastati but these guys are fresh and and raring to go if need be we currently deployed 10,000 men and we've lost about 2,000 2,200 they have now nearly lost half. 2,500 they're sitting on now. So, nine more minutes. I was tempted to just quit the battle straight out. But settings have only got nine minutes now left. I might sort of let things sort of trickle out. But there's been a massive battle here today. Uh, more so just of a waste of time, to be honest. I should have just auto-resolved it and maybe played a field battle or something. Okay, guys, welcome back. 13 seconds remain now, and we didn't do it. <laughs> Which is a shame. Man, oh man. Uh, that allied force thing's a little bit deceiving as uh, there are reinforcements trickling in. But we killed about half of them. We're not going to lose. We're going to draw it. Which sucks. It's going to come back out to an order resolve. However, we killed about half the bastards inside. I'm curious to see how many we lost in the end of it. A draw. Let's end the battle there. So at least we didn't lose. So how many did we lose? 2,225. They lost 2,000. So... Look, as long as we don't lose the entirety of any one of my units, I'll be okay. 
But, yeah, we should have all resolved that one. That was a tricky one. I thought, you know what? We'll go in with two battle rams and we'll just sort of see how we go. But regardless, we've got a quote here from Homer from the Odyssey. Full hardly men. Why provoke one? Those temper is savage already. Okay. Okay, then. Welcome to the campaign map. It was a draw. 2,225 loss to their 2,000. We lost one entire unit of Prinkapays. And that looks it by it. Okay, so what has happened when it's a draw? It just gets reset. Does that mean we can hit him again? Would you have to fight it back again? Oh, okay, so the siege equipment got destroyed. Interesting. Oh, well, regardless, we're going to be able to auto-resolve against the Iberians. Okay. Now, can we attack Corinth now? No, we can't just yet. We'll auto-resolve that one. We're sitting here at the edge of the area. Um, look, I might put some money into my economy real quick. We'll, we'll do one turn. That's what we'll do. Okay, guys, welcome to the top of the turn. Faction has been destroyed. We've still got attrition. Uh, okay, in the grand scheme of things, we're doing all right. Okay, oh, it looks like that Illyrian army is now marched south. That's interesting. Right, regardless, let's pull Africanus down. Caesar is still losing troops there. Regardless, let's take Corinth now and get this marble. Our first territory on the southern part of the peninsula. Ionian, I think it is. Regardless, we've taken Corinth now. We can liberate the Achaean Assembly. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so now we have Corinth under our control. Let's repair where we can. We're currently in winter, so we are losing a tad. If I move this up, are we gonna... We, we are gonna be able to block it, so we are in range. That's fantastic. I will move Africanus to the nearest point. Okay, so it looks like you can't actually go through there. If I go here, you should be alright. I'm having to wait a turn, that's the thing. Yeah, because I want to try and push to Crete. Wait one more turn with you. I guess we'll move you to Corinth just in case. It's just going to take time until we get this disease under our control. Let's go and finish off the Celtiberians here now. It's going to be a clear order resolve. We should have just auto-resolved it, but regardless, I wanted to have some sort of battle against the Iberians. <laughs> but that was it. 480, we did lose a unit in the end. Damn it. Uh, we're going to Occupado. And that should be the end of them. You'd think. Yep, they're gone. Excellent stuff. Well, on that note, guys, unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. We'll push and try and take out um, Crete in the next episode. This should be a better quality siege, I imagine. So we'll push over here with my navy and my units as well. We have the bottom half. We have Corinth now in the south. Okay, but let me know in the comments where you'd like me to expand. I guess we finish off the last of the Celtiberian tribes that aren't my puppets. Um, we could very well push into Massalia. And some of the Gallic tribes as well. That's on the cards. And maybe in the south. Nabatia is going to be a huge proposition though. So maybe we're better off heading through Asia Minor before we get there. Unfortunately guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys would like to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Maybe you can pick up a strategy game you haven't picked up just yet. Maybe Hearts of Iron, maybe Crusader Kings 2, maybe a Total War. Check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games. I do recommend going and checking out the prices even. There's some really good prices on there. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name has been cmc goodbye really close cinematic shots here pushing through the bridge oh look at <laughs>
That was probably the shot of the video there.